how about for new car side, uh, Chu Yang? I mean, you guys are in World War. All right. So is there anything that, uh, I mean, higher purchase come into assist at this moment or the other way around? For higher purchase, it is still okay because of, again, the demographic that we mentioned before. Uh, it is not that, because the higher purchase is a bit stricter. The main target market, uh, the main demo that can afford mobile cars, uh, is looking also at Mercedes Benz, is also looking at Audi, is also looking at BMW. And these are in the premium segment, therefore, for them, financially, I don't think uh, many of them will get rejected in terms of the higher purchase. Mm -hmm. So, in for I mean, premium car, like financially more, more stable. Uh, yep. So, so that's, okay. That's yep. So, I mean, the rich will still be being <laughs> the rich. But anyway, Chu Yang, I mean, for your demographic, right? Is there is there anything like uh, I mean, interest that will be changed for this moment, like the deposit or interest or change whatever from the higher purchase side? No, right? Like last time, what kind of percentage is running? Okay. So talking about the bank meritorium and the delay in basically repayment to the bank, I think it is a very empathetic move. And it should be that way. It should be that way. For corporations uh, and banks to allow that six month breathing room for people to get to grips with the new situation, to find a new financial footing to be able to, to get through and survive and weather the storm of this whole COVID-19 bullshit disaster storm that hit the world. Okay, there's an empathetic move and it should allow people to be able to spend money where the essentials are. Okay, but talking about the luxury segment again, uh, the luxury segment is not that affected by bank moratoriums. We're talking about macro state of state of union. Okay, macro state of union means that bank loans are a little bit tighter. What that means is 50-50% bank loans are not that easy to get through now. 50-50 before COVID-19 was actually like maybe ballpark figure. 65 35 ish and now it is the opposite it is like 65 35 not in your favor because uh, banks are really looking and digging into the background of the loan loan getting person the person that gets the loan the loaner and really digging down to their backgrounds and seeing evaluating whether or not they have the capability to uh, financially support this loan and this new undertaking Okay, so that is a bit more difficult. For new cars, uh, our Volvo clients, this is majority of the time not an issue. For Recon, it is majority of the time not an issue. But for used car, it is a little bit higher. And it really affects older cars. So the cars that are reaching the end of their loanable age, that is really affected. Normally, you can get up to maybe five years with this new whole system in place with the state of the union as it is right now, I think it will be a little bit harder to get the five-year loan. You might be downgraded to a three-year, or if you're lucky and your financial statements are good, you might get a four-year loan, okay? So that is what we as expect. That's what we expect will happen with the state of bank loans. Okay, so that's all for today. Thank you very much for joining me in this small little talk. Let's make it a discussion. Uh, comment down below in the comment section what do you think, what are your thoughts, what do you see moving forward. Basically just pitch in your two cents on this topic. I'm not an authority by any means to, to really talk about all this. I'm very young in this industry, like 20 plus years old. Wow, you think you can talk big? Uh, no, 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 no. Pitch in, pitch in. I want to hear your opinion, I want to hear your thoughts. And I want to know what you think. So comment down below. Remember to subscribe to all of us at Horizon. And yeah, like, share and subscribe if you like this video. And welcome, welcome.